Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belonging to Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahab, Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai. It's like it. any son's name is Yahweh Shai. It's alright, we can say that again. Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And double honor to the elder apostles of great most on that teaches truth for well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe that are still fighting. Okay. And to you few brothers and sisters listening and learning. Okay. Across the globe. Um, Lord willing, this ain't going to be too long. The, loft, the lofty city. The lofty city is going to be brought down low. Okay. We're going to start with Isaiah 26. And so that free, thou will keep him in, a per in perfect peace. Who? The elect. The elect are going to be kept in perfect peace. Okay. Whose mind is stayed on thee. So the, the hopeful elect, their mind is stayed upon Yahweh Shai. They're always constantly thinking about Yahweh Shai. In a day that goes past, that they don't think about Yahweh Shai. Because he trusteth in thee. Okay. That's why. Because what? The hopeful elect, they trust in Yahweh Shai. Trust in the Lord Jehovah Shai forever, for in the Lord Jehovah Shai is everlasting strength. So that's where our strength comes from. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. So Yahweh Shai is coming to bring down those that are dwelling upon high. Okay, in high positions. Okay, Esau, beginning with the elites and those other prominent people. And also the people in Israel. Those of Israel that are dwelling on high also. In them high seats. Okay, the lofty city he layeth it low. So, all these lofty cities, what's it? Tokyo, Paris, Madrid, New York, London, Melbourne. All these cities are going to be laid down low. He layeth it low, even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. So, this is what Yahweh is going to do. And you notice how it says lofty city. Quickly, going to go into that word lofty. Strong's H, 1364. Gavoeh. 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 High. Exalted. High. Tall. High in position. Proud. Haughty. Because Esau, he builds all these high buildings, which is a sign of his proud pride, his arrogance. Why are you going to build a building all the way to the skies? That's pride. And you know what that reminds me of? Genesis. Spare me just a minute. In the Tower of Babel. Quickly going to go to that. Genesis 11 and 4. Look, Yahweh has come to bring that down. This is what we're waiting upon. We're not happy here. Okay. Oh, man. Go to Genesis. Pages are missing. Spare me just a minute. Go to Genesis 11. Esau's doing the same thing that the Babylonians were doing. Okay. Which, which the Babylonian Empire were doing, which were what the Assyrians. Let's go to Genesis. Let me just Genesis eleven and one. The whole earth was of one language and of one speech. So if it was of one language, one speech, what? Hebrew. Okay. At one point. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east. That they found a plain in the land of Sinar. Okay. And they dwelt there. And they said to one another. Okay. And this was a, a province of what? Babylon. Okay. Some will call it Mesopotamia. And they said one to another. Go let us make brick. And burn them thoroughly. Okay. And they had brick for stone. And slime they had for mortar. In other words, they were building and they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower. Okay, so it wasn't just a city, it was also a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And you notice how they said, we. Okay, and the Lord Jehovah, Shai, came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men, Build it. 
the nations. And the Lord Jehovah said, Behold, the people is one. And you know what this goes back to as well? Universalism. And that's what Esau is trying to do. Merge all together. Everything. One world system. It's the same thing. This is what Esau is trying to do today. Okay. Where was I? And the truth. And the Lord said, Yahweh, the people is, is one and they have one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to let us go down and they confound their language, and that was done by the angels that they may be not that they may not understand one another's speech. And that's the example right there of what them getting together in that pride and building a city unto the heaven. So it's the same thing Esau's doing right now when Yahweh's coming to come to knock it right back down. Okay, let me just a minute. I'm so lucky if I sound blocked up, struggling with this hay fever, but guess what? We still enjoy. We enjoy all things for Yahweh Shai. Excuse me. Let's quickly go to Malak Malachi. Okay, sure. The same thing Esau's doing. Nothing different. Because remember, Esau he, he follows the customs of all these ancient kingdoms. All the ancient kingdoms. You will see in this kingdom traits of ancient kingdoms. Why? Because Esau, that's what he takes on. When he con when Esau conquers a nation, he was known for taking on their traits. Okay, just like with um what's the what's the what's the word what's the words? Who were those that who were the Edomites that um took over Egypt? The um Plutolemy. The Plutolemy. And what did they do? They just they were Romans, but he still took on the same customs. Of Egypt so it's the same thing back again today same things if you look around you all the same things that's why um, America is known as Babylon okay that's why it's known as Egypt that's why it's known as spiritually Sodom okay and Gomorrah because it follows the same practices it's known as Nineveh remember it's Nineveh Nineveh what was the what was it one of the capitals one of the regions of what Assyria Okay, we've got text on all them same customs. Bear me just a minute. Let's go to Malachi 1 and go straight to 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. Because there was one part of time where they were very, very impoverished. Okay, and that's when what? Esau was in them caves. But we will return and build the desolate places. And when was this done? During the Renaissance. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, armies, they shall build... And ever since then, Esau's been building, but I will throw down, but Yahweh is going to throw down. And they shall call him the border of wickedness, because anywhere Esau is, that's the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord Yahweh have indignation forever. The Lord Yahweh, Yahweh has a beef with Esau forever. Okay, so Esau, this, this, this is what you see, and you still see this, especially in London. This man's just building more and more and more cities, only to his own detriment. And we're also going to go to Revelations 18 and 21. What's that main city? Because the main city that's going to be thrown down. Let's quickly go to Revelations 18. And the mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, That's with violence shall that great city Babylon, because America is still known as a great place, be thrown down, and all shall be found no more at all, and shall be found no more at all. Because once America is thrown down, it's going to be a thing of the past. It's going to be. It's going to be no more remembrance of it. It's going to be a fiery lake. It's, it tells you that all throughout the scriptures. It tells you that in Jeremiah. It tells you that in Job. It tells you that in where, where else? Yeah, Job. The triumph for the wicked is short. Those that saw him shall see him no more. Okay. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. I hope it wasn't too long. And until the next time, shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.